Okay, here we go. Epson HX20, although as you can see, mine is the HC20. Uh, it's an Asian model, and with that, uh, Asian characters upon the keys. So the graphic key, which would usually be here, um, is giving you those functions instead. What, 1981? 82 perhaps, but I think 81 was when it was first originally done. LCD, which you can, there we go, giving you monitor and basic, nothing else there. Although you can get optional ROMs, little printer, little micro cassette. Uh, oh, it's a bit of a mess around here. You got a couple of serial uh, RS232 and serial as it's labelled. Remove the micro cassette, which is an add on module, and the usual kind of attaching it to a regular cassette reset button uh, for the LCD and on off. Oh, there's an expansion port on that side as well. Put that back there. Uh, interesting machine. Does have, I've got the extension or the expansion. Expansion cartridge over here, uh, which slots into there, gives you extra memory. Uh, also, to run additional ROMs, uh, it has as itself through the means of various jumpers and uh, switches uh, to swap around the various ROMs that this can give you, as well as um, boosting you up to I think 32k. There we go. The back's an odd one. It uses NICADs, as these things often do. Uh, the thing is, it's not able to be powered successfully from the actual power socket. It has to be powered from the battery circuit. So if you rig up a standard uh, pack to the wall, uh, it doesn't work properly. So you have to go in through the battery circuit, which means separating the wires from the dead NICAD pack and going in through that uh, to give it the steady 6 volts any more than that it doesn't work properly uh, and as I say you have to go through the battery circuit not a lot apart from monitor and basic standard Microsoft Affair uh, it has an interesting wee memory management thing and that it gives you 5 memory spaces this is memory space 1, P1 there uh, and you log in to additional memory spaces as you can see from the P1 above there was a program in memory there but everything is free in memory space number 2 I can load from the micro cassette which should load something or other big print Kind of unremarkable in itself, but the fact that the V tapes work and the fact that the heads didn't need cleaned from a machine from 1981, 1982 is in itself is quite impressive. Let's see if I run this. And really, all it's doing is printing ABC using little blocks quite big. And have I altered this? No, I haven't, but it does. And the printer also works. I've also got a couple of bits of paper. Cut the printer cartridges. And there's the usual till receipt kind of thing, which is quite cool. Which is quite cool. Um, if we break back into the menu, back into basic, uh, naturally puts me in memory space number one. Login. Two, and then that would give me the program I've just loaded from cassette, which is that one there. Go back to menu, go in there, and this one is a different program entirely. Good way of doing it, quirky, certainly different from the Tandy's version, you know, which obviously has the Open. It's more like a. I always think it's more like a single disc system when I play with this. To be honest. Oh, what's going on here? 
Don't worry. Um, where everything kind of seems to be within, you know, one floppy disk and one kind of memory space. Um, this certainly doesn't have a different way. This obviously has a huger screen, um, which is kind of a lot more effective for on-the-go word processing and all the rest of it. This kind of feels very much like a, a workhorse. This is a tool or an appliance, without a doubt. This still has a feel of a, uh, a little computer of sorts, a little computer station at least. Anyway, if there's one thing that this does do better than this over here, is that is sound. Hardly great, I grant you, but um, yeah, I quite like it all the same. Quite like it all the same. Um, I can't seem to get much on it just now. I need to kind of figure out how to get the RS232 uh, working. Uh, until I do that, I'm kind of screwed really, uh, or I'm typing stuff in. Uh, this, however, is a hell of a lot easier to get stuff into. Um, so let's see. Let me just work it in here. So it's pretty easy to get software onto this without any. And obviously, a bigger screen makes gameplay a lot easier for these sorts of things. But still, anyway, Epson. HX or HC20 LCD, microcassette and still working printer.